Good evening, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief and Weather Forecast. Thank you as always for joining us. His Excellency Governor Martin Roper held a special event at the Governor's House on Tuesday evening. His Excellency and the Honorable Premier presented awards to dozens of civil servants and leaders from the private sector. Now, the men and women were awarded for meritorious services rendered during the COVID-19 pandemic and for services rendered to the government and people of the Cayman Islands, as you'll hear. 2020 was a quite exceptional year, and I don't need to uh, remind you all of that. But our islands have done incredibly well in managing this global pandemic, the biggest health crisis to hit our planet in 100 years. And let me pay my own tribute to the Premier, to the Cabinet, the Deputy Governor, for their leadership, um, to, to everybody, our health professionals, professionals but Team Cayman, um, and everyone in the wider community, because we can all be so proud of the progress we have made and the largely normal lives that we are living. I am pleased that the world-class performance of public servants and private sector partners was recognised by the UK Association for Project Management, who awarded the Cayman Islands Government the Social Project of the Year Award. This was in recognition of the cross-sector project management approach taken for the construction and delivery of the field hospital that was set up to support the Cayman Islands COVID-19 preparedness strategy. Thankfully, of course, it was not needed. His Excellency says he was delighted to award the certificate and badge of honor to the individuals in recognition of their exceptional service to our community during the pandemic. He added that this is a unique and special one-off set of awards to reflect the unprecedented situation in which we found ourselves. And you can watch the entire awards event on youtube.com forward slash CIG television starting tonight. On Wednesday afternoon, Cayman Airways officials and Deputy Premier the Honorable Moses Kernel held a press briefing explaining plans to return the Boeing 737-8 aircrafts to service and how you can learn more about the aircrafts. We have been quite comfortable for some time that with the changes that have been implemented, it is now impossible for an accident such as what happened with Ethiopian or Lion Air to repeat itself. It is literally impossible for that to happen again. Cayman Airways has a comprehensive safety management system, but there is one individual who can be personally or who is personally held accountable for the safety and security of the airline. And um, I happen to wear that hat. And it's the most important hat I wear in my life, period. Because it's not just about me, it's about the safety of everyone who flies on Cayman Airways. So I take that role extremely seriously. Um, I think over the years, Mr. Smith has come to realize that um, I fully understand my responsibilities and I would not be a part of taking any chances um, because it's just not, not within my makeup. And you can watch the entire Cayman Airways press briefing on CIG Television's YouTube channel starting this evening. Also making our headlines this Wednesday, the newest members of the Cayman Islands Coast Guard are taking part in, a three, in three days of training. Now, the officers will learn essential firefighting skills. The training is conducted by the Cayman Islands Fire Service, led by training manager John Christian. The course covers hose running, the correct use of fire extinguishers, and how to properly recover a casualty from a scene. The training will help the Coast Guard role as the Cayman Islands first responders. Turning now to our weather forecast, the high temperature reached 85 degrees, the low 74 today. We can expect partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers and early morning showers, that is, as we saw earlier. Winds are from the east to northeast at 10 to 15 knots today, 5 to 10 knots tonight. Seas are slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. Now today's synopsis calls for isolated showers along with light to moderate easterly winds and seas, which will continue over the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. It's all in association with a high pressure system over the central Atlantic Ocean. Radar images show isolated showers that are in and around the Cayman area. They're moving towards the west. Remember, you can download the Weather Services app, CINWS, or go to their website, weather.gov.ky, 
for the very latest weather update. That ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Have a safe and wonderful night, and I invite you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now. Every time it sounds like a love song, but actually what it is, I, um, I wrote a song for my youngest son when he was born, and that, that song is all about him, really. Every time, every time, yeah. Every time, every time.